What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and I've got an unboxing for you of the Samsung Galaxy Mega 6.3. There aren't that many phones that come through our desk and I am just grinning from ear to ear to take a look at, just from sheer curiosity. This is a 6.3 inch phone. Let's go ahead and dig in and see what it looks like. <laughs> Have you ever looked at the 5.5 inch Galaxy Note 2 or Optimus G Pro and just thought, you know what, this phone's too small? If that is you, I've got your answer. This is the 6.3 inch Samsung Galaxy Mega Phone. It really is stretching the borders behind what qualifies as a phone, a tablet, or even a phablet. And I'm super excited to take a look at it. I love giant phones, but I'm not sure if this guy is going to be too big or not. I have not seen this yet in person, so I'm kind of giddy to take a look at it. Uh, our friends at Negri Electronics hooked us up with this guy. Um, check them out for all your electronic phones needs. Actually, I know the owner, Ryan Negri. He's a friend of mine. He lives like 10 minutes away. Um, so I can vouch for them for all of your unlocked phones. So give them a check out uh, at negrielectronics.com. Let's go ahead and open this sucker up. We'll do a little of that action. We'll do some of that action. And even because I'm feeling spry, we'll do a little of that action. And we'll peel off the plastic. I still end up ripping it. Um, so the same box as what we saw with the Galaxy Note 4, the sort of fake wood grain there. Um, picture of the device on the front in Spanish. Oh, that is a giant phone. And nice of them with the specs here. I don't have to remember that. I will pull <laughs> I thought people looked at me funny when I used the Galaxy Note 2 out in public. I am really dying to see what people think when I bust this sucker out <laughs> to make a phone call. I'm going to begrudgingly put it off to the side for a quick second. Then I will try and pick that sucker up and we'll run through what else it's got in it. So what are you going to have in the box? We're going to have some guides and that kind of stuff. But that's blah. Uh, we're going to have an adapter. That's kind of nice. Um, and a micro SD card. It's a 4 gig card. I'll run through all the specs, but there's 8 gigs of storage in the model I have. Um, 16 gig models also available. We've got headphones with uh, volume control and inline mic. We've got... A charging cable, nothing exciting here. It's a micro USB. We got some ear gels. We got a wall wart. And we got the battery. And looking at this battery, you'd be like, wow, that's gigantic, John. That must be a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. If you said that, you'd be wrong. It's only 3,200 milliamp hours. So let's take a look at this behemoth of a phone. Uh, you guys can't see it, but I just got a, a ridiculous smile on my face looking at this thing. Um, so it does have support for LTE, but not in the US yet. That model's not here. This is HSPA+. Uh, Android 4.2 at launch. It's an HD TFT screen. A uh, 1.7, let's read it right here, a 1.7 gigahertz, a dual core processor. Uh, 1.5 gigs RAM, so not quite two. Again, there's expandable storage. Our model is eight gigs. You can get that up to 16. It's got an eight megapixel. It looks like everything on this phone just looks like comically large. Eight megapixel sensor uh, on the back and sort of an odd megapixelage, uh, 1.9 on the front. Uh, this has support for LTE 150 uh, megabits per second. So it should be pretty fast, but I don't think it's going to work here in the US. 802.11 ABG and an AC. So that's kind of nice. 3200 milliamp hour battery. All right, so let's talk about the height. This is 6.60 inches uh, or 167.6 millimeters uh, by 3.46 inches or 88 millimeters, 8 millimeters thin or 0 0.31 inches and it weighs 199 grams. But enough of me talking. Let's pop in the battery and see what this sucker looks like and compare it next to other phones because my, oh my, this is a gigantic phone. So let's peel off all this stuff. I have pretty big hands. I could palm a basketball, no problem. Uh, and my hands look like I am a toddler uh, next to this thing. So we'll pull this off. I am super excited to use this. Let's go ahead and put in the battery. Uh, and while it's booting up, we'll do size comparisons with kind of other phones. You can see. <laughs> the battery is almost the size of like an iPhone 4S. Um, we'll go ahead and pop this sucker in and see how it works. Um, Am I the only one that's excited for this phone? I don't know why, since I saw it announced, I just kept thinking it's, maybe it's like a novelty phone. Um, but I'll, I'll check too if it fits in like regular, you know, dude jeans. Um, I, I, phones can't get any bigger, right? I'm gonna carry around like a 10 inch iPad and put a phone dialer on it uh, and see how that works. Um, so we'll put on this gigantic um, back and it's the same sort of plastic back that we've seen on previous Samsung devices here. Nothing new or exciting um, from a build quality standpoint. And it's so big, it's hard to even see where it lines up. Snap, there we go. 
Um, nothing really that notable from a design standpoint. Uh, you've got a giant home button and capacitive back and menu buttons right there, volume up or down. Uh, and we've got a power button right there. So let me go ahead and try and boot this sucker on and uh, I'll come right back. All right, so you got this guy pretty much all booted up and as I was going through the setup, I saw that it's got a ton of Samsung Galaxy S4 features including Air View, uh, S Beam and all that kind of other goodness. So I'll let you know that sucker's here. We'll go ahead and go to next, John Rettinger Galaxy Finish. And let's see what Android 4.2 looks like on a 6.3 inch screen. So just for example, here's my hand next to it. I mean, this it is gigantic, but I don't know, it's kind of usable. So let's do the first thing I want to do is I want to see a size comparison. Um, so let's bring in the Note 2, which is admittedly a phone that's too big for most people. There's the Note 2. It looks like a tiny little nothing uh, of a phone. And the <laughs> dimensions here uh, are almost all the same. You can see all that next to each other. I just crazy that this thing is that big. I'm really excited to, to use it. Uh, let's bring in a few others. Here is the Optimus G Pro, 5.5 inches. So you can see what that sucker looks like. How about the kid brother here, the Samsung party? Here's a Galaxy S4, which uh, looks like it's got a lot of growing up to do. Uh, you can certainly can see the design um, similarities between these two. I will say the Mega, though, does not have a stylus um, like the Note line does. Let's bring in a few other favorites here. Here's the HTC One, which is by no means a small phone. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, let's bring in the iPhone 5. Look at that. So small. Like what? What? Give me your money. Give me your money. Uh, it's been a long couple days. Um, so here is the Samsung Galaxy Mega. Uh, and there's no other way to describe it other than, holy crap, it's huge. Um, so if you want a just ginormous phone, um, this is going to work for you. Let's do a test and see how it fits in this like dude pants, what it looks like up next to your head because I'm super curious uh, about that as well. And all the stuff you loved or hated about TouchWiz um, from the Galaxy S4 is here as well. So it's just a giant, little less power powered uh, Galaxy S4. Um, I'm going to use this phone. I'm going to see if I can count on people look at me like I have two heads.